Are you spying on me? Are you spying on me down here, huh? It is official, ladies and gentlemen. I have officially purchased and upgraded tremendously my camera rig. I decided to go with, I'll probably show when it comes on the channel, like when I, I actually got overnight delivery, so it'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> uh, mainly because I'm filming a client on Monday and I've so many times gotten new gear right before filming and it's always stressful the day of trying to figure stuff out and learn stuff. I figured, you know what, let it come tomorrow. I have a little bit of time to prep with it and I figure it all out, get it all set up, take it out of the boxes and stuff, and then we can take it from there. But I. I definitely spent some serious money on it, some serious upgrade, and my prayer is that it takes it to the next level. My own personal videography, my own career, my own quality of content, but also the content that I provide for other clients. I remember looking back a couple of years, I used to do a lot of client work filming on an iPhone, uh, but then, you know, I got hired to do a video uh, for a wedding, a wedding video. It's like, I can't film that on, a, on a, uh, an iPhone, so I used that money to buy new gear, and I did, and it was like, it was next level, it brought me to the next level, and I'm, I'm praying that this does the same thing. It takes me to the next level, even though it's scary because it's a serious investment in my career. I'm just trusting that the work will come and that next level of work will come. So that being said, I'll keep you posted. I'm excited, but also a little nervous, but that's how we get to the next level. It's not like I'm just like frivolously, ah, let's just have fun. I'm actually the, the last person to, to upgrade gear. I'm always the one that likes to just use what I have kind of thing and make it work. But every time I have upgraded, because I guess because I wait so long, uh, for example, when I bought a microphone, I like then it, it just makes such a big difference because I wait so long that it's like, okay, now we really need something. And it just takes it to the next level. So praying that that is the case, praying it's a noticeable difference and we'll see what happens. In the studio working on some music, taking the piano riff that I wrote a couple days ago and turning it into like this like kind of ballad, Ed Sheeran kind of melody kind of thing. This is with the melody and some piano and drums. <laughs> Let's record some guitar to this now. What we want to do with this, even just in the sound, we're in the key of F. Sh oh, I should have, before I do this, pick the key that I want to go into. Not sure that I want to stay in this key that we're currently in, but let's, let's just m mess around a little bit. We should maybe go higher. Let's see what this sounds like. Shift it up. Pause this. Move this all up. Okay, so now we're on the key of A. Let's try this. So 15 minutes later we decided we're actually going to shift it down a little so we can go off the octave so we can have like something like this when the key is C sharp now. Or we can shift it up like We have options here. Let's tune this up a little bit. Throw the capo on. Let's give this a couple tries. I have a couple different takes. Mm -hmm. 